again. Um, I'm going to show you how to work the um, ripples and shell pattern on this tutorial. Um, it's a really nice stitch to use for um, a baby shawl or a baby blanket. Uh, you could possibly use it for um, a scarf or just an ordinary blanket. You could do each rose, each set of the shells in different colours if you wanted to but I'm just using one colour for this particular design. I'm using double knit yarn and a five millimetre hook. We start as always on the um, the straight edged um, designs with a chain and the chain needs to be multiples of 12. So for this particular uh, design I've just done the three pattern repeats so it would be a chain of 36. I've worked 24 chains, I'll just do the next 12 chains to bring it up to 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the first foundation row is slightly different to the other rows that we're going to do. So we're going to work one double into the fourth chain from the hook and that's going to count as the first stitch and the first double crochet. So we've got the three chains here and the double so that's going to count as two separate stitches. We now need to do one double in each of the next three stitches. So we've got one two and three. So with the starting three chain that's given us five doubles all together. We now chain two and we're going to work one double in each of the next five stitches. So we've got one, two, four and five. We're now going to skip two chains and work one double into each of the next five chain. So we've got one, two, Three, four, and five. You can see that the the design's starting now to take shape. Chain two, and we're going to work one double in each of the next five chains. So again, because we've done the five, two chains and five, we're now going to skip two chains as we did on this um, repeat. So this here is the pattern repeat all the way across your chains. So we're going to skip two and work five doubles across the next five chains. Oops. We're going to work two chain and then we're going to work one double into each of the next five. There's one. two, three, four, 
three, four, and one into the very last chain. If you're doing a, a wider project, you would carry on in the same way until you get to the very end, just repeating the five doubles, two chain, five doubles, skipping two chains and then work the five doubles, two chain, five doubles. So that's the foundation row complete. We're now going to start row one. The two rows are going to form the rest of the pattern. So once you've completed your first, the foundation row, sorry, you will just now be repeating the next two rows for the rest of the uh, blanket or the swatch piece that you're doing. So we start again with three chain and that's going to count as the first double. Into the two chain space we're going to work ten doubles so we're skipping these next four stitches here and working ten doubles into the two chain space so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten. So you can see that we've formed this first shell here. We're going to work three chains and then into the space here where we had the two chain space from the foundation row there's a space between the two sets of five doubles. We're going to do a single crochet into that space. Followed by three chain and then we're going to work ten doubles again into the next two chain space. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So again this forms the pattern repeat. So the next stitches will be the three chains, a single into this next space here followed by three chains and ten doubles into the next two chain space and we carry on all the way along the row to the to the end working this same pattern repeat so I'll work it again three chain single crochet into the space between the two blocks of five doubles three chain and then we're going to work the last 10 onto this swatch. So there'll always be 10 into the final uh, two chain space. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if you've carried on all the way along your chains you'll just be left then with the final block of five doubles here. We work the last three chain, we work a single crochet into the top of the three chain that started that row. So there's the first shell row complete. We turn over and we're now going to work three chain. We're going to go straight over to these 
10 double crochets from row 1. We're going to work a front post double around the first 5 stitches. So the front post double is yarn over, the hook goes behind the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over through 2, yarn over through 2 and we do that over the next four stitches as well so we've got five front post stitches all together front post doubles there's two three four and five we chain two and then we do the same thing over the next five stitches so we've got five more front post doubles there's three four and five We're now going to skip these chains and the single crochet and the, the chains again. So we've got three chains, one single and three chains from the previous row. We're going to skip all of those stitches and work exactly the same over the next ten doubles. We're going to work five front post doubles. followed by chain two and then one front post double around each of the next five doubles so we've got one two three four and five and again we're going to skip the chains, the single and the chains and we're going to go straight across to these 10 doubles here where once again we're going to work 5 front post doubles, one each, one around each of the 5 doubles. with the two chain and then one front post double around each of the next five doubles. There's one, two, three, four and five going to work three chain as we get to the end of the row and then we're just going to do a single crochet into this three chain from the previous row and there's the second row complete. So the rest of the design now will just be a repeat of the last two rows that we've just done. So there's only the foundation row that's slightly different. I will work the two rows again um, just so that you're familiar with the stitches. So as always we're going to start with the three chain. And then into the two chain space between the front post doubles which is here. We're going to work 10 double crochets. We've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain three. I'm going to work the single crochet into the space between the two blocks of the front post doubles. So single crochet into the chain into the space, chain three, and we're back to the ten doubles into the two chain space here. Oops. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into the space and chain three and then again we're going to work ten doubles into the two chain space three four five six seven eight nine and ten now come to the end of the pattern repeats so the last stitches again on this first row of the pattern is three chain and we just do a single into the three chain that was left from the previous row so there's row one worked again turn over ready for row two so again we start with the three chain and then we go straight across to these doubles where we're going to work the front post doubles so we've got one two three four and five don't forget the two chain before we do the next five. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. We skip the chains the single and the chains and we go straight across to the next block of 10 doubles and work five front post doubles over the next five stitches we've done one two three four there's the fifth one chain two and five front post doubles over the next five stitches skip the chains the single and the chains and we go straight across to the next block of ten where again we're going to work five front post doubles, two chain and five front post doubles. I think this is a really simple pattern with only two rows to follow but you get a really effective design that looks as if it's much more complicated than it is. Now we've got one two, three, 
four and five. We've now come to the end of the row where again we're going to work three chain and a single into the three chain from the previous row. So there we've got the ripple and shell pattern which is just the two rows that form this really nice ridged wavy shell pattern. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.